how to create product bundles in Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a simple tutorial on how you can add product bundles on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, before I go in, I need to tell you guys the trade-off that you're going to have to do when you create product bundles. Now, if you want to be able to create product bundles, you're going to have to trade it off with your inventory tracking. So if you add this extension or if you add this code onto your website, you will not be able to actually track your inventory so if that is a bad trade-off for you there is a alternate method to this which i will tell you guys at the end of the video so if you're not sure about this method then you can definitely check that out now to get started what you're going to do is you're going to log on to your shopify store and what you're going to do is you're going to click on online store over here once you have clicked on online store you're going to click on actions and then you're going to click on edit code now before you do that, you're going to click on duplicate and duplicate the code of your website or your e-commerce store. And in that way, if you mess any code up, then you can just restore the previous version that you had. Uh, this is not necessary, but for most people, I do recommend that you duplicate your website code before starting to edit the code and adding the new product bundle code. Now, to get started, what you're just going to do is you're going to click on over here, click on edit code. And on your left, you're going to find different sections. And on your right, you have your previews. So I'm going to close up over here. And now if you scroll down and go into your sections over here, like these are all of the folders and you're just going to click on sections and you're just going to scroll down and we're just looking for product.liquid. Yeah, so you can see over here we have product recommendations.liquid. And what you're just going to do is you're going to press on control F or command F. And then you're just going to search for unless over here. So we're just searching for unless. I'm just going to go back into my product section. So you're just going to search for unless on your product.liquid. Now, if you can't find your unless section, it is just probably because you haven't added your product page. So you can go onto your sections and let's say if you want to add your product bundle directly uh, below the or above the header liquid so you can just type on over here like it only matters where you want to enter it and for you obviously it's going to be in the product section and you're going to type it above unless but i'm going to add it over here and what you're just going to do is you're going to copy paste this code over here you're going to copy it and then you're just going to click on paste over here just like that and then you're just going to click on save and now you can see your asset has been saved. If there are any errors, uh, make sure to revise and take a look at where you have added your little product liquid. Now, after you have added this first little code, you're going to go on to the second section. So you're going to go on to snippets. And don't worry, I'm going to leave a link to this website over here. It's called Ecom Experts. And over here, you can find all of the copy paste code that you have to add. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on snippets. You're going to click on add new snippet and you can just call it product dash bundle and then you're just going to click on create snippet over here and once you click on create snippet you're going to go into ecom experts and then you're going to click on show all over here and then you're just going to copy paste this entire code so it's a rather long one now you're going to click on copy and then you're going to click on paste over here and then you're going to click on save now after you have added this product bundle liquid you're going to click on it over here and then you're just going to go into ecom expert and then you can just create product bundle collection liquid you're just going to copy and then paste this title and then once again you're going to remove uh, any initial text that is pasted and then you're just going to copy paste this code you're just going to click on show all then you're just going to copy this entire code so just like that, you have copied this entire code over here, like so, paste, and then save. And once you do that, you're going to create a new snippet, and you scroll down, and then you're going to find the third section, which is going to be the bundle price, and then you're just going to copy, paste that, create the new snippet, and on your new snippet, if there is any pretext, you're going to remove that, and then you're going to paste this final code over here, just like so. You can just scroll down and paste till here. It should end on end differentiate. And then you're just going to click on paste over here. You're going to click on save. 
And once you have added all of these codes onto your website, you're going to be ready to add your product bundle. So just like that, once you have done that and saved all of your code, you can go back into your orders or you can go back into your online store. You can click on customize over here. And when you click on customize, you can scroll down and click on add section. And then you're going to find your product bundles over here. So just like that, you can add like a product bundle into your sections onto your website. You can see over here, I have really an empty website. I haven't added many products, so I can't really bundle them together. But that is the simple and easy way for you to create product bundles with code. Now, although this is a great way to create product bundles, for some people, it might feel like too much of a hassle or it might feel like a bit too difficult for them to do. I totally understand that. And I do have another method for people that are not looking to, you know, go through the excessive coding changes to create product bundles. Well, for people like those, it's a pretty simple and easy method. What you're just going to do is that you can go on to Shopify, you can click on apps over here. Then you can click on scroll down you can click on view more apps in this collection or you can just click on your search bar click on apps and then search for bundler so this is an application that will enable you to create different bundles this is one of them so it's by upsell bundles and you can see over here that they provide a free version as well so that is why i love bundler by golden day because they have a free version you don't have to pay for anything and create simple product bundles and if you go onto your search results, you're able to see many other bundling programs. So you can see over here, you have seal subscriptions, bundles, upsell, you have bundle builder, you have ultimate special offers, NBC bundles. So there are quite a few different applications available for people that are not good with code and just integrate this application to create your Shopify store bundles with products. So you can easily just use one of these apps. All you have to do is click on the application over here and click on add app. And then you're just going to give them the basic permissions to use. So you're just going to click on over here. You're going to click on install app. And just like that, you can just add them, add this application and create product bundles via this application. So uh, it's a pretty simple and easy setup now. Shopify has really simplified the e-commerce process, but it is not available for free. Shopify itself is uh, starting at $29 per month and it goes up to $299 per month depending on the plan that you opt for. Their mid-range plan goes for $79 per month where you can add up to five locations and five staff members and you also get professional reports. So I think that Shopify is going to be a good option for most people even on their basic Shopify plan which enables you to sell and manage your account with over two staff members. So you're now able to create your own Shopify product bundle. So that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.